Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all the Sun, Moon and Rising Leos. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for returning, thank you for your likes, shares and support. If you are new to my channel, thank you for being here and thank you for the wonderful support that you have been given to us. Okay, this is a week, a week of the hurricanes that are coming. There is so many disasters that is happening, but it's just purification. I want to say to each and every person, um, um if you haven't received any if in the next two weeks you uh, won't receive any messages because of the hurricane and i'm um i'm right now in florida so um the this could happen that you will not receive any messages for the next two weeks but if not um please listen to the sun moon and rising sign of your september reading okay listen to the two last week of september because um this is a week of the hurricane so i'm not sure what is going to happen and i don't want to leave so not right now so um please um listen to the september reading if you miss my weekly readings okay Alrighty, please remember to help the people who are in need, especially at this time, because um, it's going to be um, very, <laughs> this, this is a disastrous um, week, let's say that. Okay, for you, Leahs, what's happening? You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is good Monday. It's going to be a very good, positive day. For you guys, Monday is going to be positive. This week is the week of the hurt. The week begins from um, the... Um, 11 until the 17 this is a wonderful wonderful time for each and every person in this week we're looking forward to look at certain aspects in our lives and let's see what the week have in store for you we have the energy vibration of the empress that comes up in this week for you guys okay because this week is a hurt week and this is the week of the ye the world and it is the zodiac energy also of uh, um, the week you have the empress and this is good because she keeps on coming up in this week and I am getting the, the feeling that why the Empress uh, is coming up in the wheel of the um, the week of the the world is that um, there's so many changes that happening to this planet so be aware of what is happening and um, um, realize that whatever materialistic things you need in your life that it will happen for you okay I'm gonna put my glasses on because I want to look at these cards uh, and um, it's wonderful because on Monday you have the wheel of fortune you have the king of hurt um, someone who is of an earth sign is going to come in Monday and Tuesday is more of a business um, a middle of the week there's going to be a big celebrations then you have the two of hurt and then you have the five of hurt you have the seven of fire and then the seven of water so this is looking like a very positive week there's no air sign so you won't have a problem in this week it's going to be a week of work okay so let's see what are the message are here for the Leos in this week the number seven is going to play a vital role in your life number seven is always the number 77 that you're having certain situations that are coming up in your life um, you're on the good part in your life so whatever is happening for you guys you're really really on a good part in your life number seven is going to be a significant role so whatever is happening um, most of you are on a good part in your life because the number seven energy is here number two and number seven okay let's see what is happening you have um, the eight of cups whatever is happened um, the energy of the Empress and the Eight of Cups is going to be your main focus for this week. The Empress is coming in to help you with whatever loss that you have encounter. Okay, so let's go along and see what is happening for you guys on Monday as I said the Wheel of Fortune this is a very very positive day for you guys because the Wheel of Fortune is bringing wonderful new opportunities in your life you're dreaming of wonderful beautiful things and this is going to happen for you and these situations are coming in your life so for each and every person your life will be touched with a sort of a magical experience Monday because um, new things whatever you have been dreaming for and this was a plan of your blueprint this was something that you're supposed to have and whatever dreams you have because when we know what we're supposed to have we start dreaming whatever dreams you have the wheel of fortune is bringing this 
to you so this is going to be wonderful for Monday a good fire energy Monday is going to be very balanced for you guys on Tuesday you have the king of heart and this is the week of the heart and a lot of heart sign people are coming in to help you so you will be um, connecting with the Taurus the Virgos and the Capricorn which is wonderful whatever the situation is they're going to help you out of a situation whatever that has been happening um, if your business wasn't going good they're going to come in and help you um, if you have situation that was a ray they're going to come in and help you so whatever is happening whatever situation is taking place in your life you're going to realize how wonderful and how powerful this is because a healing is coming in and the earth sign people so this is going to be the masculine um, aspect of the hurt sign people coming in the Taurus Virgos or Capricorn in the middle of the week and the crowning of the week this is good because we have the three of water and this is a celebration so whatever is happening let's hope that you're not in Florida or in <laughs> any of the states that the hurricane is going to hit. Um, if that's not the case it's going to be a wonderful positive week for you guys remember the people who are in the hurricane season water seems to be coming up in the readings for this week whatever is happening it's going to be good because accomplishment the nine of nine of Pentacles is here so this is going to be wonderful so um, you're going to be um, overcoming something and have a huge celebration and this celebration is um, an accomplishment the nine of Pentacles so a lot of you people will be receiving money because you have the wheel of fortune in um, the beginning of the week whatever is happening the, the um, hurt people are going to help you to achieve to accomplish this situation and the three of water is just a positive positive energy and the three of water is a celebration and you're celebrating a victory and this victory brings you financial um, success okay as we move on on Thursday we have the two of heart the two of earth is when we're balancing our um, emotion and our financial um, world and this is very good I love this card these are the new cards that um, call it Barrett has this um, two of hurt is wonderful because it's bringing balance to the heart just like the floods that are about to happen we bring in balance cleansing okay whatever is happening there is a cleansing there is the five of ones there's conflicts with other people and can be conflicts with yourself and it can be conflicts outside of yourself you can have inner conflicts or outer conflicts whatever this conflicts is some some people are going to have it over your material needs and some people are going to have it over um, balancing your material world so whatever the situation is and it can also be conflicts emotional conflicts so whatever the situation is accept what is going on and learn and understand um, certain aspect and certain situation as we move forward on Friday we have the energy vibration of um, the five of hearts so here you are feeling as if there's a hardship coming on but that 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 is not the case it is as if it has nothing to do with money it has something to do with your going through um, hardship in your life and this can be something that you're thinking that is happening but it's not really happening so this is a wonderful aspect you have the king of wands and the king of wands is yourself so this is what okay so what is happening with the it's just um that you men will be having a hard time you'll be feeling as if you're left out in the cold but there's not absolutely you can change this around because it's going to affect most of the men or the masculine aspect of the femme of the female okay so <clears throat> what is happening is that you're going to feel as if uh, you're in our chip as if you're left out in the cold whatever the situation is uh, um be aware that it's going to be okay all right as we move forward we are looking at um saturday saturday we have the seven of fires which you're trying to protect yourself because on friday you felt as if you were left out in the cold and you're trying to protect yourself in whatever way you can and you have the energy of uh, um, the two of one so there's new opportunities you're protecting yourself but yet still a door of new opportunities a door a portal of new opportunities are coming in and this is going to be wonderful and positive so um, whatever the situation is whatever is playing out this is going to be extremely wonderful this is going to be positive this is going to be good you have no 
um, reason to worry about whatever is happening so this is going to be very very positive as we move on we have the energy vibration of the also another seven the seven of water and the seven of water is a positive energy and you also have the seven of uh, ones coming back so the seven of water is that your wishes and dream you have so much ideas wishes and dream and they are being protected and you are being protected in this time so no matter what is going on around you know that these situations are going to be positive ones because uh, whatever you're wishing and dreaming for this is going to be a positive endeavor so ladies and gentlemen be aware of your thoughts be aware of what wish for what you would like to achieve in your life and your wishes and dreams will be protected by your angels and guides because this is a positive positive weeks for you guys it is a, a week of uh, um, changes is a week uh, of a celebration for some people a week of changes a week of celebration for some people whatever materialistic things that was lost you will regain them in um, different way the wheel of fortune is here which is a very positive and remember that the number energy the number seven is telling you that you're on the right part in your life and as you go forward you are going to realize whatever conflicts is going on on um, Thursday be aware that love is the only thing that is real what is here for you um, for you um, um, Leo's the energy of the wheel of fortune is showing up twice okay the energy of the Empress is also watching over your um, your week and this is very positive because you have the Emperor and the Empress what is happening is that there's a whole lot of fire sign twice the wheel of fortune um, the Emperor and the Empress uh, achievement for some people in their work for some other people there is going to be wonderful possibilities of good thing the number five and the number seven is going to be your energy vibration number okay the first half of the week is more of a business sort of a situation um, the king of hurt is going to come in and help you with whatever conflicts and whatever um, things that is going on the wheel of fortune is actually um, twice in the middle in the beginning of a week and this is going to be positive your whole week is crowned by achievement and then you have the energy of um the Empress at the left looking over your week so this is going to be one of the most positive week for you Leo's because some people is going to be having luck the wheel of fortune is going to bring a lot of luck in business and work in your life and the Emperor is going to help you to um, bring forth that success that you have been looking forward in your life it's going to be a wonderful positive week of celebration um, achievement the three of water is always a celebration and achievement and this is the crowning of your week as we move forward and we look at this week it's all about you it's all about working with certain aspects um, and certain things in your life this is all about the week of love love is coming in very um, strongly and um, the connection with other people or the situation is also a valuable thing that love is coming in so <laughs> you are going to be aware of certain aspects and certain things whatever it is you're leaving it behind you're moving on but yet still there's positive energy in business and love I'm using the angels of abundance and it says savor vow of poverty and <clears throat> As we look at this and we are going to read it it says and this is good because a lot of people had um, whatever the savor the vow of a poverty comes up it is good for us all to do it dear one there is no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intentions of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effect of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of times okay <clears throat> and i'm going to find um the answer to this which is savor all the vows savor all the vow savor all the vows, savor all the vows. 
savor okay savor all the vows okay I have to do this um, this is going to be a little bit longer this means that your financial your financial are being affected by the vows of poverty that you have taken in the past at one time it was common for a spiritual and religious seeker monks and nuns to take vows of sacrifice okay and all monks and vows they take a vow of sacrifice that means that they don't hold on to the materialistic world they share everything that they have and this um, what is happening is that this situation what is happening including forsaken personal incomes and comfort vows of poverty self-denial and criticism can block to you in this lifetime if you have chronic negative pattern with respect to your finance and relationship it's helpful to release their holes over your life this is nothing to fear and anyone can do this it is a matter of saying out aloud or silence i hereby serve and release any vows of poverty self-denial self-sacrifice or chastity that i may have made in this lifetime and any past lifetime and i ask that all effort of those vows be forever undone in all direction for everyone involved it is so and it will be please say this i hope that the message is being texted down please say this three times because whenever we are um asking the universe for anything we need to say this three times so come back to this video and read what it says it says I hereby serve and release any vows of poverty self-denial self-sacrifice of chastity that I may have made in any lifetimes and I ask that all effects of those vows forever undone in all direction of times for everyone involved okay so this is wonderful this is positive this is really a positive situation whatever the situation is you're understanding how wonderful certain aspect and certain things is going to affect your, your life okay we are using the angel answers um, somehow I've been guided this week to use the angel answers and uh, this is what we're going to do we're going to understand what is happening in our lives and we are going to see the line of what is happening so if you have any message about this week about any situations in your life please ask the question as I ask the angels answer to show us what uh, message you should have improve in health so if there are people out there that that are having a um, health situation there is going to be an improve in your health okay is there any other message for anyone who's not having health situation what other message is there perfect timing okay so if you were asking should I go ahead with so and so yes and this is perfect timing whenever the energy of perfect timing comes up because I did choose another card because um, not everyone are having a health situation some people um, are having different situations in your life whenever the perfect timing comes up it's perfect timing for the situation you have been asking about move forward with confidence don't delay or hesitate because any um, uh, because there's an energy gate that is presently open for you conditions are ripe even if you don't feel prepared rest assured that you are ready so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here and remember if uh, you should um, if and if at the end of the um, next week there is no energy reading and then know that I was restricted by the hurricane and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm wishing you a wonderful wonderful week namaste